Do you have a pampered pooch with a birthday coming up? I do! But what do you get the dog who has everything? I'm here to teach you how to make a birthday cake that's fit for your furry friend. For the cake you will need one cup of flour, half a teaspoon of baking soda, one eighth of a cup of vegetable oil, a quarter of a cup of natural peanut butter. Make sure you check your ingredients. Do not use peanut butter with xylitol because it's dangerous for dogs. Half a cup of plain unsweetened applesauce, half a cup of pumpkin puree. Make sure you use pure pumpkin and one egg. And for the delicious puppy friendly frosting, you will need half a cup of plain Greek yogurt and a quarter cup of peanut butter. If you were wondering, yes, humans can eat this cake too. It might not be as sweet as most human cakes, but I'm gonna say that here in the USA where we live, that's not really a bad thing. The first thing we're going to do is preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. Next, we're gonna combine the flour with the baking soda and mix that together well. Now in a separate bowl we're going to mix together the applesauce, the peanut butter, the vegetable oil and the pumpkin puree. So this cake is for my little poodle Layla who's about to turn two. Last year we did a birthday picnic for Layla with a look back on her first year with us. So head on over to that video after this one if you want to see more of Layla. Make sure you give this a good stir so that the ingredients are combined well. Once the ingredients are mixed well, add the egg. Since the video last year, Layla's continued to bring us so much joy and happiness. She's playful, loving and funny. Let me know what your dog's personalities are like in the comment section below. Once that's done, you can combine your dry ingredients with your wet ingredients and make sure you stir them well. One of the biggest changes for Layla this year is that we actually moved house and we were a little bit worried that she was going to struggle with the move because Layla is not known for her easygoing or adaptive personality. But apart from the first night when she was scratching on the door because she wanted to go back to the old place, she grew to love her new home really quickly. The next thing I'm going to do is pour the cake mix into a cake tin, which I'm actually going to grease with a little bit more oil just to make sure the cake doesn't stick. And then we're going to bake this for about 25 to 30 minutes. One of my favourite memories of Layla this year was the first time she got brave and jumped in the swimming pool at my in-laws house. <laughs> well, she wasn't going to sit on the sidelines whilst everyone else was having fun. Swimming seemed to come naturally to her as did drying off in the sunshine afterwards. While that's cooking, we can make our puppy-friendly frosting by simply combining the peanut butter and the Greek yogurt and mixing well. Once the cake is cooked and cooled, we can spread this over the entire cake and it's gonna look lovely. Let me know what you like to do for your pet's birthday in the comment section below. And if you try this cake, you can tag us on social media at Brit Girls Go Stateside so we can see your creations and how much your pooch enjoyed their birthday treat. And don't forget to like this video and hit subscribe if you're enjoying it. It really helps us out and helps other people find our content too.